Vin from the Mistborn series is one of the best underdog tales of recent memory for the fantasy genre. She starts out a low-level criminal and ends up basically a mythical god. Vin is really fascinating and was probably my favorite part of the entire Mistborn trilogy. I am a big fan of the progression she has, the characterization Brandon Sanderson gave her, and he did such a good job with this character, it made me really feel that he has a good handle over writing female characters, which is fairly uncommon for male fantasy writers. She is fully flushed out, she has her own desires, her own wants, is never overly sexualized, and the romances that she does have feel healthy, organic, and not quintessential to her character, so it doesn't really bother me that she does have a romantic side to her. But the real initiating relationship that matters when examining Vin is her and Kelsier. Kelsier presents a more morally gray hero for us to follow in the initiating uh, events of Mistborn, and Vin comes in as a more morally righteous hero to follow, which is rather interesting to see the prodigy become the master and then actually kind of be better. She is better as a fighter, she becomes better as a character, and she is morally and ideologically better than Kelsier was in his prime. We later learn the downfalls of Kelsier, and those become really the strengths that make Vin stand above and beyond what Kelsier was able to accomplish. She becomes the real Mistborn. She becomes the Guardians of the Mist or the Watcher of the Night, this ascended being. The evolution actually feels natural to a point. Uh, I made it clear in my review of the Mistborn trilogy that I didn't like, I don't like when sudden kind of evolutions to godlyhood happen to characters unless they are thoroughly earned. And I didn't feel that that final evolution for her really made sense or was something I enjoyed. That being said, I did find her growth to that point to be fantastic. Because of her past, Vin does suffer from pretty severe anxiety. This is again Brandon Sanderson bringing mental health problems to his characters, and this makes them, to me at least, much more real and relatable. Vin's battle with anxiety and her constant need to be in this heightened state of awareness and ready for fighting, well, does save her and people she cares about at many points throughout the series, is a real problem for her to overcome, and it's interesting to see her finally able to let go of the many anxieties that keep her on edge while also using that edge to her advantage. And this really speaks to her character and Brandon Sanderson's writing ability, that while this is a problem, it is also something that can save her. It's not just a right and wrong. It's not simply something that can be conquered. It is a tool to be used. Having anxiety and heightened awareness when you're in the situations that Vin is in is a good thing. But when it comes to your personal life and how you handle yourself as a person, not so much. You don't want to be having an average day and feel the need to pull a knife because something startles you. But as a reader, you can't help but sympathize and genuinely care for Vin, knowing that she is this way from where she started. This incredibly abusive, horrific past that shaped the exterior of the person she is, these layers she uses to protect herself, is kind of the quintessential why we care about her so much. Because you know that she is afraid and she needs to overcome these fears and that is why she is so distant to so many people. And when people are finally able to bridge that gap, first and foremost, Kelsier, what we end up seeing is someone who's so dedicated to doing what's right when it's unveiled that the person she at first thought would be her greatest enemy was not quite so much that that, she's able to adapt and adjust on the fly, which is very believable for her. She doesn't really struggle with the idea of switching enemies. She is just very much so an arrow going to her target because of that anxiety inside of her. She wants to solve a problem, which as someone who personally does have anxiety issues, I kind of relate to that. On a, on a very deep level, I am always wanting to work and move towards achieving a goal. Vin is very much so that same way. It's about problem solving, taking the next step, so that maybe she can finally not feel like she needs to be on guard all of the time. There are a couple issues with her character, a couple actions that kind of feel inconsistent, a few things that kind of fell out of character, 
character for me uh, reading through her story, but nothing major, nothing really worth elaborating on. Uh, I just found her in general to be consistent, her evolution to follow a natural progression, and her motivations to be clear while not overly simplistic. And all of those kind of resulted in a great protagonist for the first trilogy of the Mistborn saga, I think would be the right terminology. And while she might not be the most original concept as a whole for what makes her character who she is, the execution is so good that you don't really mind that you've seen a lot of these characteristics before. Uh, Brandon Sanderson is very, very good at polishing what is already established and making it even better. While he does have some very original characters, many of his best fit into a trope, but they are just sharpened to a point and Vin definitely falls into that. I don't really like talking about the very end of Vin's arc, because to me it is the least enjoyable part. The fact that she lands where she does, to me, is the biggest flaw in her character. Uh, I would have rather seen her stay grounded pun intended, to a more relatable character because she was built to be someone to be so relatable for all the readers, I imagine, that seeing her suddenly flip up to this ascended level uh, felt very unnatural to me. And that would be the one issue that I really have with her character. Overall, though, Vin is someone I think everyone who is an avid fantasy fan can enjoy. She is someone who takes action in a way where you can admire them as a character while self-doubting in a way that you strongly relate. And in my opinion, is the best part of the entire Mistborn universe that I've read so far, because I only read the first three. I will hopefully eventually get to the next, because I've heard they're much better, but that is to be seen. I hope you all don't mind two videos in one day and are having a good one. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. Have a good one. Peace.